we decided to write chess for our first year project. Now you might be thinking, what makes this game of chess so special? After all, I have chess running on, our, on my Windows, Mac, and Linux machine at home, and no one seems to be making any fuss about it. Well, there are two things that make our chess game quite special. The first is that it's written in 15,000 lines of assembly code. And assembly is the lowest level programming language that you can write in without actually writing in ones and zeros of binary. The second thing is, our program is designed to run on the Raspberry Pi without an actual operating system, meaning we don't have access to files, folders, graphics, system calls, all these constructs to help us. We have to interact directly with the GPU and memory ourselves. Now, as all computers ultimately run binary, um, this meant that we had to also write a tool called the assembler, which was responsible for converting our assembly program into a binary program. This program is then loaded onto the SD card and inserted into the Pi, um, and the Pi is only wired to the um, HDMI projector and the power and the breadboard. It's not connected to any other source of computing power whatsoever. So now we're going to give you a very quick demo um, of our chess game. Yep. So now could you so yeah. You can see uh, our uh, small keyboard that we uh, wipe by ourselves. Also, Raspberry Pi. Another thing is, Raspberry Pi is the actual computer, and you can see that it is not detached with that computer at all. It is uh, connected with the projector only, so it's going to be keyboard, Raspberry Pi, and projector. So, let's start game. Okay. Let's play some chess. Let's play some chess. Okay, let's start game. First of all, you can see that the first one uh, can move either one or two steps ahead. I noticed the color of the cursor tells you whose turn it is, so it's black right now. Now, we're gonna do offer song thing. When um, the, the black turn, uh, the black pawn move to there, so the red pawn can do offer song. But just only left hand side, not right hand side, because on the right hand side the chance is passed. You can see. On the song done. Mm. And if you could pause here too, just notice the borders on the squares give the player more information. Uh, so gold tells you uh, which piece of card is selected, which is the pawn here. And green tells you which squares you can move. And you can see that uh, our game can move naturally at the same as game on the actual PC. I mean, it supports all compulsory rules. I mean, it's still meant to repeat it. And now, the queen tries to capture the king. Then the king knows. So he wants to do castle, and he can do it because it's all conditions satisfied it. Not his that. If the king is in check, so he can't do castle. Okay, and this pawn want to do pawn promotions. And this bishop is really kindly. They, they want this pawn to be promoted, so they capture another. And when the pawn reaches the highest rank, it can be promoted to be either four of this. The queen, the rook, the bishop, or the knight. And now we're gonna oh, wait, let me get closer, because you can't really see that very well. Then we're gonna select each of Yeah, that's it. Then, just the actual right move. Now we're gonna perform the in check situation. When the queen moves to capture that pawn, so the king is in check. So you can see that. Uh, another piece that can't protect the king, can't move at all. The pawn can't move, right? You can see here. And two, if you go to the knight, knight can't move as well. But on that rook, it can try to capture the queen. Uh, because that is the way that um, it can try to save the king. But the rook can't move to the uh, left hand side because it can't save the king as well. But uh, unfortunately, our king wants to die, so he committed suicide by go to the corner. Then, the red team know that, so uh, they want to end the game by checkmate. But wait a second, this was the real checkmate, because that knight can go to there and save the king one more time. 
but the Chinese play because the queen can capture the knight and checkmate the red wing. Yes. Okay, now let's move on to game. The, the, the color of the um, background of game corresponds to who's won. So if red's won, it's a red screen. If it's green, if black's won, it's black screen. And if there's a stalemate, which we also detect, then it becomes a gray screen. Can you maybe zoom in? Here we zoom in by walking closer to it, sure. Um, so here is the game loops, the top level uh, code which deals with everything in the game. We start off with a BL to init stack. The BL means branch with link. So in this instruction set, that's um, sort of like calling a function. And uh, after that, we go on to init pins, which, which sets up the uh, GPIO pins to be input pins. Then after that, initialize deals with the game board and sets up all the pieces and the other global variables we use. Then we're onto the actual uh, game loop here. Here we check if uh, checkmate has occurred, and if not, we move on to displaying the board. Uh, we also get input from the player and process that input if. if applicable in that situation. And that, that comparisons, those checks are made by the uh, CMP mnemonic, the compare mnemonic, which in this case compares R0, which is a register not, a uh, form of memory in, in the CPU, with the number 0, and depending on the value that R0 holds, it either ends the game or it doesn't. And here at the bottom you can see we have a B to main while each game. Uh, the B means branch, so that makes the CPU jump back to this label. You can see the names correspond. So it just continually loops around until uh, someone wins the game, and then you saw the game over screen and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Uh, actually, um, you, you, you will be confused. What if the actual assembly is okay? For the ARM architecture, um, the ARM instruction look like this. This is just the one example, which is add R2, R0, R1, which is the instruction that add uh, R0 with R1 and store it into R2. Oh, and R mean register, which is the memory inside the CPU, the tiny, the tiny memory. Then we use our assembler to translate it into machine code, as you can see this. Which is a code that hu human can understand, but Raspberry Pi and yeah, can understand it. Then we can execute it and perform the actual chess game like this. Thank you for watching.